Anything all right, Jed? So far. Telegram get through all right? Yeah. Marshal and his deputies will be here in a couple of hours. That's good. Mm -hmm. You got back quick, Pa. Did you get an answer from the Marshal? I'm dog tired, Daniel. How about some coffee? Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, ask a favor of you, Jared. A favor? Mm -hmm. Anything I can do. What's about Daniel? It's something I've worried about for a long time. Something I know his mother would have worried about if she was still alive. I don't imagine it's been easy trying to raise a boy alone. No, it hasn't. This town doesn't help either. You've seen what it's like, Jared, full of drifters, drunks, not even a school. There's no place for a boy to grow up. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. A lot of good men have come out of towns just like this one. Yeah, but most of them had two parents. Daniel's only got one. I can't even give him security. The sheriff lives from day to day, you know that. You know, it's a funny thing. Most of the kids I've seen don't seem to give a hoot about security just as long as they have love. Well, he's got that. All I can give. But if I should happen to get killed all of a sudden, he won't have that. He won't have anything. There's a boarding school in Stockton. He can get an education. Be able to take care of himself no matter what happens. I know it very well. The Stockton Boys School. Yeah. Well, I've written to them, taking care of all the details. They say that Daniel can enter any time. Jared, your stage leaves in an hour. I've saved the tuition. I'd appreciate it if you'd take him to Stockton with you and enter him. You told him about this? No, not yet. It's a little sudden, isn't it? From what I've seen, it's going to tear his insides out. What do you think it's doing to me? If I don't send him quick, I'll lose my nerve. Look, Dave, why don't you think it over a little longer? This town's growing every day. There's bound to be a good school here soon. I've thought about all that, Jared. It doesn't change anything. I'm still a sheriff, a man with a gun in his belly all the time. That gun goes off. I don't want my son to see it. All right. I'll take him. But not on the next stage. I'm going to stay till that marshal gets here. But I don't want you to stay. If those miners start trouble... If they do, you're going to need an extra gun. And badly. All right. I better go. Talk to Daniel. Coffee ready, Daniel? Just about. Can I heat it some stew? Where's Mr. Barkley? He's keeping watch. Should I take him some stew? Sit down a minute, Daniel. I want to talk to you about something. You remember how it was three years ago when we lived up in the hills in our mine? You mean the cabin? Before the claim jumper shot Ma? Mm -hmm. Of course I do. I remember everything. How she used to say poetry to me, fix my clothes, and how pretty she was. Yeah, she loved you very much, Daniel. She always wanted the very best for you. That's why we moved into town right after she died. I thought you wouldn't be so lonesome that I could take better care of you. Do. You take real good care of me. Well, this, this job keeps me too busy. You have to you have to cook and clean up. You have to wash your own clothes a lot of time. I don't mind. I always said it was good to know how to do things. Yeah, well, she meant more than just those things, Daniel. She meant an education. She'd want you to be in school right now. I know she would. Well, then maybe we ought to move someplace where there is one. Sheriff jobs aren't that easy to come by. I don't know anything else. I... I talked to Jared about it. Mr. Barkley? That's right, Mr. Barkley. What did you talk to him about? 
You're going to Stockton with him, Daniel. You're going to live at that school I was telling you about the other day. You... you're fooling. Ain't you, Pa? No. No, I'm not, Daniel. But I don't want to live there. I want to live here with you. No good here. Living next to a... a jail. Never knowing what's going to happen next. I don't care what happens as long as I'm with you. Well, I do care. You're going to get an education, Daniel. You're going to make a life for yourself away from here. Oh, Daniel, you'll like it. There'll be, there'll be a lot of boys. You'll make friends. No, no, I won't. I'm sorry, boy. You're leaving as soon as the marshal gets here. Now, go get ready. There's, there's lots of time. I'll, I'll do it later. After... After I get rid of all my frogs. You'll do it now. Right now. Yes, sir. For the best, boy, you'll see. Go on. They're coming, babe. Come on! You stay here, Daniel. Cover me from the side. Don't let them take me, please, Mr. Bobby. Don't worry, Wong Lo, they won't. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Get out of the way, you're gonna be hurt. I'm warning you, Cusack, and all the rest of you. Stay back or I'll shoot. You can't shoot us all, Sheriff. I don't want to shoot anybody, Mr. Glover, but you can't have Wong Lo. That scavenger has done enough damage. He's killed one of my men. A merger that would have benefited the whole town. We're going to see that he pays. And I'm going to see he gets a fair trial. He's already had a trial. Been found guilty, right, boys? Ah, I'm warning you, Sheriff, for the last time. Stand aside. Not a chance. <laughs> Kill the next man that moves. Pa! Oh, Pa! Pa! Mm. Well, Sydney, you came here to destroy law and order, and I'd say you've done a pretty good job. Pa. Is he hurt bad? You're pretty lucky this time. It's only a flesh wound. What you had to do it for? What for? We should help him like he's always done. <laughs> like he's done for a lot of you. Because Wong Lo was in trouble. He's always helped everybody when they was in trouble. Everybody. <laughs> Ever since he came into this town. Remember when the mine beans fell in you, Cusack? And how Pa stayed by you till the doctor came? <laughs> Fed your whiskey so it wouldn't hurt so bad. And how about the night you was gone to Stockton, Mr. Corcoran? And how Pa fetched your wife, just in time for a baby to come? <laughs> he never left you alone, neither, Mr. Glover. Even if you are rich. Remember when your daughter was cut in that Snowden stage? And everybody said that they couldn't get through? You said you'd get through if it killed you. So you rode out. You and Pa. And when your horse went down, Pa brought you and Miss Janice both and say. He stood by every one of you. So 
sometime or other. What? Why couldn't you stand by him? Why couldn't you? Well, gentlemen, in addition to everything else, it looks like you all have short memories. Stay where you are, Sidney. He needs help. You can help best by getting this rabble out of here. All right, men. Back to your jobs. Stay there. Go on. Sheriff? I've been a hard-headed businessman all my life. But I always pay my debts. Jared's right. We do have short memories. about coming out, Pa. I try not to. But I heard the shots. And I knew he was out here. Alone. I had to come out. I just had to. I'm glad you did, son. Do I have to go away, Pa? Really? I mean, can't I just stay? Can't I? You better. Can't expect me to eat at that cafe all the time. and I owe you much gratitude. Because of this, we have talked. We will sell you and Mr. Glover the mine. I'm happy to hear that, Wong Lo. It'll mean a great deal to the town of Rimfire. Money will mean much to us in getting a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You've already got one at no cost. Not much of a case against you anyway, Wong. Cusack admitted that you did kill Pete in self-defense. Perhaps Ling and I will have roots after all. Well, Dave. Bye, Jared. Thanks for everything. Daniel, I want you to promise to take good care of your paw. Don't you worry. I will. 